Well, let's bring in our next guest to unpack all of this, National President of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Mort, thank you for joining us today. So how would you respond to what Vivek Ramaswamy had to say about Israel? Well, first of all, he showed clearly he does not understand the Middle East, knows about the Middle East. He should really be boning up before he talks about it. He said we should cut all aid to Israel. Uh, and, and that we should give the same amount of aid to all of Israel's neighbors, meaning Iran, uh, Syria, uh, Lebanon, you know, vicious dictatorships. He does not understand the Middle East, and he doesn't understand that the United States has made commitments to Israel uh, for this money many years ago. In 1979, with the Egypt Agreement, if Israel, in order f uh, for the United States to get Israel to make the deal to give up the entire Sinai to Egypt, America promised that they will make up the lost money from the oil wells in the Sinai that Israel developed. Israel was earning $2 billion a year from those oil wells. America said, we will make that up. We'll give you the $2 billion. So this is a commitment that America has. If we don't fulfill our commitments, we will lose all trust. And, uh, he, and it's very clear he doesn't understand the Middle East at all. He said we should treat everyone in the Middle East the same. We should treat vicious terrorist dictatorships, the same as human rights-loving democracy Israel. He said there's an equilibrium in the Middle East, an equilibrium when you have Iranian missiles in Gaza, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, in Judea and Samaria. Uh, there's no equilibrium. It is a, a potential explosion in the Middle East, and he's acting as if things are quiet and OK. So this is a man who uh, not only doesn't understand the Middle East, but he will change his mind on a dime. When he said that he will stop all aid, now he says, no, 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 I will increase the aid to Israel. How can you trust a man that goes from uh, one statement to the exact opposite statement uh, uh, a few days later when he's criticized? Mort, we've got about 20 seconds here. We know about the rampant anti-Semitism and the anti-Israel rhetoric in the Democrat Party. I'm just curious, is there any room for that kind of mentality within the Republican Party? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, most of the extremely hostile to Israel and to Jewish people, members of Congress, unfortunately, are on the Democratic side. It's uh, Ilan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, Jamal Bowman, and others. And the problem with that is that the Democratic leadership has not condemned these people. In fact, they've endorsed them, praised them, and support them. Uh, this is a problem. I'm grateful that in the Republican Party we don't have that type of problem. Uh, so I, I thank God for that. We need the leadership in the Democratic Party to start condemning the Jew haters, the America haters, by name, and throwing them off of every committee, just as uh, Speaker McCarthy threw Elon Omar off of the Foreign Relations Committee because of their vicious, ha their vicious hatred of Israel and the Jewish people. All right, Mark Klein, we've got to stand with Israel. Thank you very much.